alongside Louis Nebraska, and we are set with McDavid between Dreisaitl and Yesapuliarvi to start for the Edmonton Oilers. Good backtrack by Norris. Kara breaks free. Wrist shot. Score! No, it went off the post. Excuse me. Kicked all the way out to the point. My apologies. Down to the AHL in Belleville. Played a couple games. Played well. Watch this shot by Kara, though. Good opportunity. A Kachuk will leave it and fired in by Zoo. Around the boards, left, and a long shot. Ends up wide. Backhanded in front off the pads of Koskinen. Dry subtle will put it up the wall for McDavid with Pooley Irby. McDavid at the net. Wrist shot. And held by Hogberg. Barry dropped Norris in his tracks, and here's McDavid skittering his way through. Center, open man, dry subtle. Now Nurse winds it up, fired wide. Live hop, shot, dry sidle, held Hogberg. By dry sidle, a little bit of a bouncer. Good entry into the zone. McDavid's really buzzing in this one early. And that puck just bounces. Karam's hard off the back wall, right to dry sidle. And he gets it away in a flash. So watch Hogberg. He's got to go right, comes right. Packed in by Barry. Alex chase on Tierney and it's stripped by dry subtle over to McDavid out for Barry juggled for a moment McDavid cross ice one timer score Leon dry subtle pumps it home for his 20th it's one nothing Oilers up and McDavid stride he takes this puck this is a set play as he just kind of works himself into a spot, gets his feet moving, and in motion he can shoot that puck, he can look net front, but his favorite pass obviously is that seam directly across the dry sidle, and bang, it's off the stick. Hogberg was across, good stretch by him, a big goaltender at six foot five, but no chance on that one. With Smith as his running mate, again his save percentage up over 92, here's a steal by Archibald. Short-handed, waits for Shore, center, Shore taps it on net, the save made by Hogberg. Off the draw, Barry will move it to dry subtle. His 20th goal, joined him with McDavid as two others to hit 20. Down low, chase on quick shot, and that's covered by Hogberg. Anderson all did it in 87, 88. <laughs> Well, here's another set play, and the last time it was McDavid across the dry saddle for the one-timer, and he goes down to chase on, and I like this. Excellent point. Brady Kachuk actually scored a goal like yeah. that in the win over Montreal on Saturday. Here's McDavid busting in. Quick shot, and a save Hogberg rebound, and Nugent Hopkins had it popped off his stick. One-timer dry saddle and a diving stop made by Hogberg. Both Nugent Hopkins and chase on were right there in the doorstep. Kind of like from Connor McDavid, he's got his focus in the right place and a one nothing lead off that power play goal. Leon Dreisaitl just saw welcoming Nick Paul back to the ice. You'll recall he left awkwardly late in the first, went down the tunnel, but apparently okay. Steal by Josh Norris, he'll hit the line with Brady Kachuk. Dealing Shabbat around Pugliarvi, wrist shot short side, blocker save Koskin, rebound tucked home. Beautiful tip by Josh Norris. Blue line down into the zone so dangerously. Nice little move here by Kachuk to kind of buy himself some space and time. Find Shabbat, the late man in. That short side shot didn't miss by much, and he just continues on and wraps it right into the stick of Josh Norris. We talked about this heavy presence in front of the net for Norris. Shabbat manages to get there just in time to hold the zone. Nurse taps off boards. Long shot. Whistled off the side of that big hit. Kachuk ran through. Barry tried to center. And Koskinen got a piece. Now another chance. Kachuk stopped by Koskinen. Tucked away. I mean, you've got death taxes and Blake Wheeler in the lineup. Here's a steal by Batherson. Trouble. Wrist shot. Tierney. And what a save made by Koskinen. Just that ultimate passed up ice. Out there with Shore, Russell, and Larson. And Yamamoto again creates another turnover. He and Shore two on two. Shore walks in, waits, shoots off the post. Rebound to Adam Larson as Edmonton comes within a whisker. Could not work his way around Adam Larson. He spooned it over to Ethan Bear, and now you've got McDavid and Dry Subtle back together. Over the line, five on five. Dry Subtle, one timer score from an impossible angle. An unbelievable goal. He's got two. 21 on the year, and the Oilers back in front. But he meant to do this. We've seen him score so many goals from a similar spot. He gets down to that corner. He is below the goal line when he rips this puck on net for McDavid. No look. Bang. It's down to him. Look where he is standing. He is literally in the corner when he lets that go.
and he beats Hogberg, and he just looks afterwards and says, are you kidding me? I mean, guys will try and do that. Those have taken two goals. They've, I mean, with just elite finish and otherworldly play. They've had to really work for it, and, you know, number 97 for Edmonton has just been buzzing right from the draft of the puck in the first period. He's been skating that puck up the ice all over it. Nurse looking for Yamamoto. He's got him. But he's muscled down by Mike Riley. Artem Zub up the right-hand side for Connor Brown. Senators on a break. Brown. Re-shot score. We are tied. The corner from distance and a play that looks kind of harmless. It's Riley that jumps up in the play. It's Brown that gives it to him and right there just uses the screen. You can see him kind of put it by Nugent Hopkins. So he takes this puck and shoots it past Nugent Hopkins who kind of moves into the eyes a little bit of Koskin and he picks that corner. Just a McDavid. Barry. Dry subtle. Drop off McDavid to the net. Wrist shot score! Edmonton's back in front upstairs for Connor McDavid. His 23rd makes it 3 2. Excellent activation by the D's, both Barry and Nurse, to make sure they kept this play alive a couple of times. Puck protection, and then eventually with speed for Connor McDavid. Head up, he says, Enough of this perimeter. I'm taking this to the inside. And what a move inside. Just a highlight reel goal. Goes underneath the stick, inside the body, and upstairs short side for a 3-2 lead. Rebound trickles past Anisimov, and here comes Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Left wing Kahoon has Yamamoto. Centers Yamamoto denied. What a save made by Hogberg to keep his team in it. Turris jabbed it over to Cassie. He couldn't do much with it. And now to the net for the tie. Batherson unable to beat Miko Koskinen. It's behind the Oilers defense. Nurse and Larson call out the signals. Here's Kachuk from behind the net trying to wrap around. Save Koskinen. McDavid turned it over. Backhander save Koskinen. Rebound. And what a stop made by Miko Koskinen. Much to the chagrin of Tim Stutzla, who's denied. Deflected, doesn't miss by much. Ottawa with a flip into the zone. And Brady Kachuk just brings us out. And right there, McDavid does Less than 10. Edmonton 3, Ottawa 2. Will the Oilers hang on? McDavid's got it. Try saddle for the empty net. Shoots and off the back of the net. We'll see whether it counts. I believe it will count. He thinks he scored here. I think this is going to count. I think he put this in quick enough, but we'll take a look at it here. Right over the red line, puts it right in there. One hop off the back. Million dollar score and win. It is going to count. 1959, time of the empty netter. Leon Drysettle's got his fourth career hat trick. He's got 22 on the year.